Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, I got a package today from the Legal Lock Picker. Uh, please do go check out his channel, some really great content over there. I'll leave um, a link in the description and uh, an information card if I can do it. Right, so um, yeah, I've not opened this one, it's uh, fully closed. Um, I'm going to risk there being all sorts of like stuff inside this packaging. Um, and just use some scissors on on the edge and hope that I don't like, end up choking on a package filler or anything. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. Oh, no, it's bubble wrap inside, that's good. Okay, so, um, literally no idea what, I'm, what what's in here at all, actually. Uh, oh, wow, is that a package in a package? Okay, yep, yeah, there's like a package in a package, so... Oh, okay. So we have a an inner and an outer. And ah, oh, yeah. Now I can feel things inside here. Right. So first thing is, oh, I've seen these. Um, a quirky flat lock. Never leave your valuables unlocked. A flat lock fits in your wallet. It goes wherever you go. Interesting. Um. Definitely gonna check that out. I think that he um, he featured this on his channel not so long ago. Uh, it's very cool, I have to say. I can't wait to actually like get my hands on it and have a a real look. Carry it anywhere. I mean, it's flat, isn't it? Definitely gonna have to um, have a really close look at that a bit later on. Oh. Ah. That's cool. I, I wonder what this little label was. It says silver. Um, I think that Legal Lot Bigger sent me some of this before. It's really kind of cool. It's, um, let's just have a little snipperoo there and have a look. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, oh, look. It's, um, I don't know what the weight of these is. I've got a micro scale um, for weighing out resin somewhere so I can I can give them away later but look at that that's the American flag that's so cool what a nice little collectible I'm just going to um put those back in that little bag um yeah feel free everybody by the way um to send me like you know ingots of silver and gold platinum any precious metal not fussy <laughs> that'd be great um ah so cool so um shout out to a few channels um who have sent me uh their own engraved padlocks. So, um, Al Albert LaBelle, uh, Big Al, has sent me one. Um, Lock Pickings Gal has sent me one. Um, I'm not sure if I've got anybody else's like custom engraved padlocks. If you have sent me one and I've forgotten about it, um, that's, that's, that's really bad of me and I'm really, really, really sorry, but please uh, put a comment below um, so that I can at least update a pinned comment or the description of saying in case but I, I think I think that's it so this is um a rare uh, rarity for me is to have that plus I really like Mako locks but I haven't had the pleasure of uh, picking the blue 425 so that's uh that's really cool not not thinking that there's going to be much difference but isn't it really nice that that blue color you can't really see it I think it's, it's more like you have to catch it in the right light it never shows up on camera quite as well but it's just a really it's all, almost got that iridescence to it it's really nice love that oh this is a heavy one. Oh wow 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 yes absolutely this this is the one right here um must be some keys this is a, a cobra lock and um i've seen these as like puck locks and things like that that you just can't get them in the uk this is so cool really is Looks like a tubular core there, um, and it looks like it bottom tensions. If I wonder if um, I wonder, not so long ago, you might remember that I designed a uh, a little tool which sparrows make called the um, the gut the gut, gut wrench. No, I did that too. But this is the goat wrench, the goat wrench, and I'm wondering whether because this doesn't have um, a section you could tension off here whether I can tension, yeah, I think, I think I can get tension using the 
um, goat wrench, which is really cool. So you can do it that way, or actually you can push from the um, um, outside edge too. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, that, that's kind of cool. I uh, can't wait to have go gussing, uh, uh, picking that. That's so cool. Eight eight five hundred series. But yeah, just look at that logo. Definitely one of my favourite lock logos. Um, the Cobra lock logo. There's a few excellent ones. The old eagle locks are are particularly wonderful as well. Um, keys, keys are always good. Keys and Medico stamped on them are even better. Um, albeit. I say better in a kind of oh, oh my goodness what a headache kind of way but yeah um, always a challenge I, I haven't seen the lot for it yet this is the one two three four five pin version so hopefully there's a lock to go with that um oh just notice these little caps on here i what that's for probably to hold in the core or something never explored on these before it's also got some some shaping on the core it's, it's like a Three, four, five, six, six, it's like heptagonal thing. I don't know. So it's all just cool. Oh yeah, nice. I really like it. That lock body is amazing, isn't it? Look how chunky that is. Love it. We have a ooh ah, of course, a legal lock picker sticker. Legal lock picker sticker. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, Legal Lock Picker's channel. Go check it out. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at this. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen one of these in, um, look, look at I've got it on my finger. Brilliant. All right, let's have a look at this. I don't think, oh, that's typical, isn't it? Well done, uh, uh, well done. Lock move, there you go. Okay, there we go. So, wow, th this this must have been old and sat in a window at some point, but um, none of us are worried about the, the packaging. So, yeah, I mean, one, it's uh, no secret that I actually like Ace Hardware locks and their bodies. I don't know who makes them, it's probably something like Federal, but um, they are just really nice. And this satin finish is really cool, isn't it? have got a Schlaich style key on there. In fact, it's the SE1 keyway. Um, I don't know anything about this as well. It says, uh, we can re-key this padlock to work with your house key. Ah, so this must just take a kick cylinder so that you can um, uh, use your um, Schlage house key on there as well. Right, I got it. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, that's right up my alley as well. Um, although it has to be said, that Cobra lock is something special, isn't it? Right, uh, what else do we have in here? This must be, yep, yeah, that's, ah. Oh. I don't have this format of the Medico. I don't think so. I've got a couple like this. But looking at the key, these have angle cuts on. So this isn't a driverless lock, I don't think. I think this is just a, uh, yeah, some kind of like um, inserted, yeah, it's like a, like a, a bullet cam type lock. So you, you sort of, you push this in, I guess. I don't know what it would lock. Um, possibly like a, a, a register or money safe or something like that. I, I'm not sure. But I think looking at this, I think, but well, it might be, a, would it be driverless? Yeah, it might be a driverless lock actually. I don't know, I need to explore this one. Uh, yeah, don't know much about this one. I'm gonna have to gut it first, aren't I? I'll figure out a way to gut it if I can. Yeah, maybe, actually maybe gutting this lock is going to be too hard because it looks like it's all sealed up. Well, you know, we'll try We'll try and pick it at some point. And last but not least, looking in the packet, is... Oh, that's so cute. I love it. A, a Uema. Um, okay, so these can be uh, really tricky locks to pick. What's this one like? What's its format? Look at that key. That's something, isn't it? Love it. Look at that stylized dragon there. And, uh, yeah, another one, I think. No, it's a, is it a griffin or a phoenix on the back and a stylized dragon on the front? Pretty cool. And, oh, oh, the bitting's on the edge. I thought it might be like, um, looking at this groove in the middle, I thought it might be one of those smiley dimple locks, but it looks like it's a, a kind of 
double sided lever slash wafer slash something lock. That is a that's a thing, isn't it? I've got no idea. Does it say anything on the back of the well it says a lot on the back. Does it say anything I can read? No, not so much. Um but that is so cool. Love it. Yeah, definitely it's a Yoma 735, I guess. That is so cool. Yeah, no, I know nothing about that whatsoever, which is always a good start for um, a, a lock collector. That's the kind of locks we like, isn't it? Um, locks that are interesting, things we haven't seen before. Uh, and that's certainly a lock I've not seen before. That is so cool. Wow, well, what a great little package. Thank you so much to um, Legal Lock Picker for this. Um, I'm going to go spend my, uh, my silver uh, bullion now, and I'll uh, see you all next time.